Hello, it's Michelle from Bella Hoot, and if you've ever watched one of my videos before, you know I am pretty much always at Mess Express uh, trying to show something on video while we test it out um, just to kind of give you guys a tutorial and a real look at like first time using something. Um, it's always nice to have a really professional video, but I'd also rather you have a real video where you can see something for the very first time. So what I have going on here, and I'm going to work while I talk, is I have dipped all of these swatches once. Um, so this one's been dipped in white. This one in green. So this is the second dip. Now I will say that I don't swatch with clear on the bottom, but having clear as your first and your last coat um, is often recommended. Sorry, I don't mean to be off camera either. Hold on. My tripod was acting up pretty much every time I try to go live or I try to do a video, everything acts up. And that's just where we're at today. So if you'll see too, my nails are two different colors. I was doing pictures of an upcoming collection we're going to release. And this is a collection we're going to release. So what we are doing is essentially I'm swatching three different colors. You'll probably hear my kid in the background whispering. See, Hot Mex Express. Okay, so we've dipped each swatch once, and then now we've dipped it twice. On your second round, or on your second round, that's as much as I do with color as two. You can do more if you'd like. Um, you want to wipe off your excess. You can use a nail brush, or you can use... Just a fluffy brush, any makeup brush will do. Just the cleaner the better, that way you're not getting makeup into your dip powders. And it's probably not such a great idea to have this many colors this close to each other either because you can contaminate the other colors, like you don't want black getting in your green. Okay, so not the best swatch as you can see, I missed a whole side there, but it'll give us the idea that we're looking for. So we have our three colors, and then what we're showing you today is the new pearl pigment. So this is pearl green, and I don't really think you're gonna be able to see this on the video. It is white with a green, beautiful shimmer. And it is gonna look different depending on what you put it over. So we started with the white, so we know it's the driest. I'm gonna, it's, oh, hold on, let me get on camera here. Let me actually close these. Un momento because we're done with our colors now. Okay, so what we're gonna show you is, this is the pearl green. And you could put it over any color you want, you could put it just over clear, but, and this is a pigment, this is not a dip but the color that you put under it is what's gonna help determine what it looks like when you're all done. So we're just wiping it all over, get a nice even coat that's rubbed in on there. And again, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the shimmer at all. I'm gonna take pictures outside tomorrow as well but there is a green shimmer to this one. So that's why we're using green as well to just kind of show what, and again, I'm testing these. So we're making an assumption. I know it's gonna look different from the white and the black. I'm making an assumption it's gonna look even different from the green. And you could put it over blue, you could put it over purple, whatever you want. Depends on the look that you're looking for. So again, just a nice even coat. Hopefully you can kind of see that it turns that green a little bit more white. And now I did the black last, just again, you don't want to contaminate your colors. See how there's getting some green on my brush from the green um, dip powder. So this is probably going to get black on my brush. And you don't necessarily want the base coat much drier 
You could pour some of this out so you don't contaminate your green, you know, your pearl as well. So you're going to get one brush with your pigment. You can order more. We'll put extras on the website. So again, just a nice even coat. So this one you should hopefully be able to see a little bit better the green shimmer. How you know you can see hopefully that white, but hopefully you're seeing some green this time because the black will be the one that it's going to pop completely different on. Okay, so now you're at the point where you can do your activator. Um, if you wanted to, you could dip this again in clear. Um, personally, I think that in this case, this is going to be the best to have this as your last coat. To have that shimmer on the very top, but you can steal it with clear. So that activator kind of made it shiny. Your white's going to be your most subtle. It'll be just like a white pearl that has that hue of whatever color a pearl dip, uh, pigment you're using. So that one will have a shimmer when you're, especially when you're in like the sunlight of a green. That's gorgeous. Now this one you're going to see change pretty drastically. Let me put that activator on. Now again, I don't swatch as in depth as I would dip. I'm not gonna activate it again and buff and all that stuff. We're just gonna put our top coat on next. Now look at that. That to me is where the magic is, is on black. It's all gonna be preference. Um, if you like white base better than black, if you like a colored base better than black, and I do need to wipe off my activator brush as you can see before I put it back in. So I'm going to clean it off. But look at that. Now it's like that chameleon or snake or whatever green, beautiful mermaid, whatever you like. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's, and I'm saying this one's absolutely gorgeous just because black's my favorite. You may love the white, but it's just going to give you a beautiful shimmer. Now you do want to make sure that your activator is completely dry and what, what I really suggest is wiping this off with alcohol, an alcohol swab, then you will not contaminate your top coat. If you contaminate your top coat with activator, it'll harden and you will not be able to use your brush anymore and you could even harden your entire bottle of top coat. And you'll either have to use brush shaver or get new brushes. So I don't think, again, I'm sorry about my voice, that you'll be able to see this on the video but I will try to take pictures outside to where you can see it on the white. The white's gonna be the hardest to convey via pictures. But I just wanted to show you how different you can take this one pigment. We're gonna have five different options in the pearl. So we're gonna have green, blue, red, violet, and gold. But how you can put it over a color and completely change the color. Like it's no longer black, it's black with, you know, really dark, beautiful, like metallic green. And the white's no longer just a flat white, it's a beautiful pearl. And the green just has a beautiful, like white shimmer to it. Oops, I just stuck my top coat right in my activator. <laughs> This is what happens when you're on video, you guys. You cannot make stuff up like this. Okay, so I'm making a mess. So I'm not even going to try and clean it off right now. Okay, so that is what I wanted to show you. Hopefully my next video will be a little better with the next color. Because um, I'm going to do a, one video for each color so you can really see how they look. And so I can show pictures of the different things that you can do with these pearl dips. So you have a white, a green, and a black all on the pearl green. Thanks so much for watching, guys.